Hi everybody, it's Denise Lush here with a print a project for you. So today I'm going to be playing with the 8.5 by 11 gel press plate and I'm also going to be using some Talon's Arch Creation acrylic paint. And I'm going to be making prints on this big 11 by 14 inch piece of Bristol paper. So I'm just going to basically create a base on our piece of paper. So I'm just going to mix a bit of blue and a bit of white paint onto our gel press plate. And a bit more white. I actually don't mind if I get a little bit too much paint on the plate. I'm just going to mix it first because I can just keep moving the paper and reprint and reprint because we're not going for a pattern here. We're just getting paint onto our piece of paper, creating a base. So I'm just going to randomly move the paper around and get paint on there and then check to see where I still need paint and I still have paint on my brayer so I'm going to brayer that off and pick up some more this is a great easy way to get your paper covered in paint go. We have our background covered. I'm going to see if there's any extra and just put it on this scrap piece of paper that I have going. Now it's time to try and create a little bit of a background on our piece of paper. So I have grabbed my six inch circle gel press plate and I'm going to use the same colors. I'm just going for a little bit of a different shade of blue. So I'm going to try and make this blue even lighter than the original. And I don't want too much paint on my plate, not this time. And we're not going for a bold pattern. something very subtle. And then I'm going to take this Art Foamy. It's called Leafy Pattern. I'm going to stamp onto my gel press plate, hoping to remove that paint from the plate and create a leafy pattern. I'm going to bring my paper over and I have my gel plate mounted to a Joggles acrylic block and this allows me to flip it over and use it like a stamp which is great when you want to see where you are applying your paint. So that's really light. So maybe we'll go We'll try some white and leave out the blue. Again. I'm gonna grab that art foamy.
we go. That's a little bit more visible. So again, very little blue. I'm going to overlap the circles. And we're going to just keep going over the whole piece of paper. So we have created a very subtle background, which is exactly what I wanted. And I just want to draw out the leaves a little bit more. They are noticeable, but I want them to stand out just a little bit more, but not to be bold. So I am going to grab these Talons Art Creation Soft Pastel Sticks, and I'm going to go in with a white. And I'm just going to lightly outline some of these leaves. I'm just going over one side and then up a little bit on the other and then smudging it with my finger. So I'm going to do that to all the leaves. As you see, I'm just doing very quick strokes just to outline the leaf even more. And this is very very loose. Just to make sure the pastels don't move and they're set in place, I'm going to take some Amsterdam transparent gesso and apply it to my gel plate and then just stamp it onto my piece of paper. So you won't even be able to tell that it's there, but it will make sure that your pastels do not move. So for one final layer on this gel print, I'm going to go in with some Amsterdam metallic paints and I'm going to mix the graphite and the silver. And I'm going to use my 6 inch circle gel plate since it's already out as basically a palette. I'm going to put my paint, move this over so you can see it better. I'm going to put this on my gel plate and think of it kind of like as using it like an ink pad, but it's paint. I think I want it lighter still. 
smush that paint around. So I'm going to use this bird. It's from an art foamy set that is called Bluebird and Branch. And I'm only going to use the Bluebird for this one. So there's two ways you can do this. You can either stamp your art foamy down onto your gel plate to get paint on there, or you can use your brayer, get the paint on there, and then brayer it onto your art foamy. Either way works. And I'm just going to randomly stamp the bird all over the paper. Because you know how it kind of reminds me of like a wallpaper or something, or a gift wrap, or something like that, where you just have random pattern. That is what I'm going for. And I want some of it to go off the page. So you may just see like the very tip of the bird. And I'm turning it so they're not all going in the one direction. So as you can see, that paint that we put on our gel plate is really going far. Now I'm also going to take this scrap piece of paper that I've been taking extra paint and I'm going to stamp a little bit on here as well since I have paint left. So here we have our paper completed. We have a subtle background pattern that we created with our circles, our six inch gel press circle plate. And then we have a faint leaf pattern in the background using the art foamy and paint and then just outlining it a little bit with some soft pastels and then stamping our bird art foamy on top. So join me on Saturday for part two where I show you what we do with this print and maybe something a little extra with this.